What's your connection to Paisley? I'm a Paisley buddy. Nineteenth century Prime Minister Disraeli once warned, keep your eye on Paisley. As the tenacious campaign for City of Culture 2021 enters the home straight, we are considering Paisley new and old. I was born round in Killen Side Road. Um, my mum told me and she told me what she was able to tell me what shops used to be there and our, the, the building that I was born in has been knocked down. Um, so she was able to tell me where it was and what shops. There was a butcher's and various different wee shops. Some of them are still there, but a lot of them are no longer there. They're closed now. But it was really interesting. And I hadn't realised that I had been born there. And then ended up living down the corner. Going back, as I say, to the the, the mid to, to late 70s and 80s, um, there was adequate uh, venues, but as I say, there's a lot more now, and, like, Paisley's got a lot of, um, I go to the Open Doors Day every year. They've got l very lot of um, buildings that are just absolutely out of this world. Growing up at Paisley in the 50s, was built around routine and respect. We had respect for our parents, teachers and policemen. Children did not talk back. The pace of living was slower. Without the convenience of washing machines, central heating and 24-hour shops, we had a set day for everything. Days for going to the steamy, food deliveries and everything else we now take for granted. We weren't... Um top fashion or anything like that, the way it is now. Um, so you just had to wear what you were given and that was it. I remember arguing with my mum when I was going to school. She had bought these, what they call liberty bodices. And they were like a, a corset on the top half to get you warm. I remember arguing with her, I'm not wearing that. You'll wear it. So we had to wear it. And my grandfather, when he got married, he had a wee shop, a week and a hardware shop, uh, in Story Street, and there was a flat above it. And he used to sell, like, some sharp and saws and stuff like that. And then he used to go in in a horse and cart, run delivering, like, some goods that somebody folk could order, and again, sharpening stuff like that. You know, that, that was happening these days. And uh, everything seemed so far away. Instead of condensed, as a, as a youngster, taking a trip up to a town was a big deal, and going to Glasgow was a big journey. Not everyone had a telly, so we played in the streets and back courts and only came home when it was time for dinner. But we were in trouble if we weren't back in time. At school we learnt reading, writing and arithmetic and it was expected you would leave school and get an apprenticeship or traineeship. With my first job, I uh, started as a trainee buyer with a uh, piece of co-creator. So obviously I was selling these uh, new styles and having to learn how to buy the products that would sell. So I was getting involved in that side of things, which meant that we were really getting involved with the new culture that was coming along. In fact, we, we even opened a men's boutique in Moss Street in Paisley, uh, which was opened at a DJ called Stuart Henry at the time. It was a total flop because instead of someone of my age going to pick the, the merchandise that was to be uh, sold, it was actually my own boss at the time, who was in his fifties, came up, came back with ridiculous stuff, which he thought was trendy and we would sell, and ended up the shop was closed within six weeks. Paisley is well known for its thread industry dating back before the 18th century. However, there were a number of other industries based here, 
I meant employment rates through the 60s, 70s and early 80s were high and Paisley was an affluent town. Skilled labour being the primary source of employment meant that people had expendable cash for shopping and recreation. The town centre hosted shops to rival Glasgow and there were dance halls and picture houses in every end of the town. It was a town where by the high street, across the side street, and all the main shopping areas were jam packed and you could buy anything. You didn't need to go to Glasgow. I came into the clothes shops in here. Uh, M and Co's, it was name and Co's then, it was called Mackay. It was Pages first, and then it was Mackay's. And I used to come in for all my clays in here because they a fantastic range of clays for my age group and Marks and Spencers and, and stuff. And then the Paisley Ice Rink used to go, me and my two friends used to go to the Paisley Ice Rink on a Friday night. And it was absolutely jumping. It was fantastic, you know, and skating on the ice and, you know, it was brilliant. The Paisley Ice Rink hosted all different events skating, professional ice hockey, tennis games and boxing, attracting world title fights and sporting stars such as Rod Laver, Ken Rosewall and world champion Cassius Clay, later to become known as Muhammad Ali. As Paisley entered a phase of industrial decline from the mid-80s, the ice rink, picture houses and shops closed. The high street changed and unemployment rates soared. Paisley, the matter is that the lights, the lights we once knew, have blown. And what little view we now know has been lit up by stars we should not be afraid to follow. Because the moment has come to fight for loaves in a time of crumbs. And show the place we have not yet done. Odds are against us, yet we smile and ask. Do you think for a second we fear this task? Here I've been with you for moments, times and youthful crimes. You've held me during essence of spring and the darkness of winter. You saw me cry and scream and smile and you have not been afraid to stay right here. Right where I need you. Right where they may yet come.